Hi, I'm Debbie Diller, and I'm here to tell you about my new book, Math Workstations. I'm so excited to finally have this book in my hands, and I know you'll be excited to have it in yours as well. I began thinking about math workstations many years ago. In fact, when I began literacy workstations, we tried math workstations at the same time. My work during those days was as a literacy coach, so naturally I worked in the area of literacy stations before moving on to math. But even 15 years ago, I was working and thinking about math workstations. As I developed the math workstations piece, I found that taking photographs really helped me remember what I saw that was working well in classrooms. I put those photos into my book because I believe that a picture is worth a thousand words. When you see an image of children engaged in meaningful practice in wonderful exploration at math stations, those photos tell the story. You'll find hundreds of colored photos in this book, Math Workstations. I'm hoping that the words as well as the pictures will tell the story of what we'd like to see happen in your classroom as well. You'll find the most everything you need for math stations is in this book. In the back there's an appendix that includes reproducibles that you can use as recording sheets as your students are exploring with manipulatives. You'll find them available in English and in Spanish online as well. I get ideas for math workstations everywhere I go. Today I was at a reading conference, and so of course I was perusing books in the exhibit hall while I was there. Lo and behold, I found a brand new book I'd never seen before, Ten Little Penguins by Kate Toms. I paged through the book, and it's just a fabulous book to be used at a math station after you read it aloud to your children several times. One of the things that I loved about the book is it's a counting book, Counting Backwards. I was thinking about unifix cubes and how all we'd need to do is get 10 unifix cubes, match them up one to one on the penguins, tell the story, and count backwards as we go. You'll find math workstations everywhere you look once you get the idea of how to put them together, starting with your great teaching first and then moving to independent practice for your children. I wrote this book for teachers, kindergarten through second grade teachers in particular. I wrote this book for teachers like you, for teachers like myself. I couldn't find anything out there that really explicitly talked about how to create and manage math workstations. So I wrote a complete guide that has everything you need at your fingertips. I hope that you will enjoy this book as much as I enjoyed writing it for you.